Nigeria risks travel ban as Canada detects Omicron variant of coronavirus in travelers who return from Nigeria. But the Niger Center for Disease Control says the variant isn't yet in the country. We'll be having a comprehensive discussion with a health expert. Workers in Kaduna State get a day less of work. Thanks to the approval from Governor Nasiru Erufai, the four-day work week begins tomorrow. And it's messy again. The Argentine wins a record seventh Ballon d'Or, cementing his place in history. We're glad to have you join us on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. And I am Messi Bopo. It's good to have you join us as usual. Yes, and today we'll be kicking off as always with what's trending across our various spaces. Messi, you're looking smashing this morning. Thank you. Yeah. So, what's in the news? Uh, Twitter is in the news. Uh, Mac, uh, Jack Dorsey has stepped down as uh, the CEO of Twitter and an Indian yet again is you know, taking over the hands of affairs of Twitter. Well, um, this actually has actually been uh, a concern for Elliot's management, a major stakeholder of Twitter in 2020, if you remember. Mm. Uh, there were concerns that there were concerns that he could, you know, the fact that Jack was running uh, Twitter, he was running Twitter and Square, at the same time, uh, there were serious concern. Now, at that time, however, I think it was actually handled. But it feels like they've come to, you know, a compromise where he can't no longer, you know, be the CEO. The major concern is how do you run Twitter and also manage Square mm. at the same time effectively? Mm. So usually, I'm sure that companies, you know, always come to that point where they have to make decisions. At the end of the day, it's for the betterment, mm. uh, you know, of the company. It has to be for the common good of the company. And whatever you but you know, some people are of different opinion, the leadership of Jack Dorsey, uh, 16 years and what have you. Uh, some people think it's it, it's quite inspiring. And a lot of persons well, also been, say man. that, uh, oh, we're thankful for the fact that you created this. I mean, all of your ideologies and strategy and what have you, uh, we have gained a lot of friends, but people are different. Of course, mm -hmm. you can never have people tilt to one side. So mm -hmm. like I always say, you, you we don't have, um, uh, there would always be relative. Nothing is, you know, it would always be relative. It's a great one, it's by the way. And, and indeed, again, uh, the new uh, the new guy there, uh, Agarwal, you know, he's an Indian and he's just about 37 and he's doing very well for himself. And he has made uh, the top uh, uh, 500 um, CEOs in America and um, he has a PhD at just 37. And of course, uh, before Jack Dorsey stepped down, he said he had so much faith in Parag Agarwal, you know, handling the affairs of Twitter. No, uh, and that's a good one because, you know, if you look at the antecedent and some of the things that he put out, if you see mm. uh, that letter of resignation that he put out, he mentioned the fact that, you know, Praga has always been the brain behind a lot of the innovations, some of the innovations that mm. we have actually gotten for the company. And it's a good thing, you know, to see that uh, he mentioned a couple of persons, but he actually said that he is the right guy for the job and he believes in him very, very well. So it's a good thing. And gradually, at the end of the day, when you have organizations like this, uh, profit is actually it, putting out, you know, essential services, ensuring that, you know, they offer value for uh, the money is always, always the case. So I like the fact that whatever it is, maybe mm. due to the fact that, uh, like I mentioned earlier on, the Elliott Management Company, okay. or the Elliott Management, which is a major stakeholder uh, of Twitter, yeah. raised the concern of effectiveness. I'm sure that the issue of effectiveness has been a major issue of concern, and that's why he's expected to step down. Great one. Jack will definitely miss him. Uh, who will not be sending all of our complaints to him. But like some Nigerians have actually mentioned, yes. we're hoping that Praga can you know, help sort out the issue of uh, Nigerians I'm, I'm getting back on Twitter. Because yes, with, with the fact thing. that we know that a lot of persons are use, using v, uh, VPN yes, yes. Uh, to tweet, it is not the same. It is actually not the same as it used to be. Mm. So you, because a lot of people are not on Twitter mm -hmm. in the Nigerian space. And Twitter is... 
you know, is unique. That's yeah, Twitter is indeed but unique. Like, but like I mentioned, we will miss Jack. We wish him the best in his endeavor. And you're just and smiling all from ear to ear. Yeah, <laughs> see if you had like a personal connect you know, because he, with Jack no, no, Not really. I mean, every time you're on Twitter, yeah. you feel that connect with Jack Dorsey. I'm and sure, you feel like I, every I'm time sure you tweet actually bring the same vibe, you know, to the platform. Fingers are crossed. <laughs> You saw this drag, don't you? And again, it's very interesting to note that the Indians are actually taking over, per se, the you know the tech space. Uh, what with their CEOs or CEOs of a major tech companies, Microsoft. Uh, you know, if you just Adobe, you know, most of them, all of them, really are uh, just. Uh, so it might just interest Indian. you to know that uh, Praga has actually been working behind the scene over the years, mm. and so for some of the ideas and everything that you have actually seen. Like Jack has actually come out to stay. It's courtesy of Praga. So he's a great guy. And of course, we're going to get used to having Praga and Channel Prag. Back. And this, this is Prag. A, okay. You know, so there's so a smile to your you know, face when you mentioned Jack Dorsey. What are you not know, telling me? Uh, I said you have some huge crush on Jack Dorsey. No, Mercy. no. Okay. So, so for every time you talk about Jack, I mean, 16 years, yeah. he has actually grown. If you look at the ladder of um, you know, growth, if you yes. see how he's moved. Oh from being, you know, co-founder, you know, chairman, executive, interim CEO, mm. and all of that. He's, 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 really, he's really moved, and it's really, really quite an inspirational story all and right. journey for him. All we can say is we wish Jack the very best, just that we wouldn't be able again to channel all of our complaints to Jack. I mean, some people made some, uh, I would call that a joke. Some people say, Let you know, the CEO them. of Jack has actually quit Twitter. Who are we? <laughs> Oh, Not so that he's quite, but I mean, the space is still very open to him. It's a good one. It happens everywhere in the it does world, happen. especially. It does happen. No, it does happen. It does yes. happen because at the end of the day, you would look at the company. The interest of the company oh. would always be, you know, a priority. And let's even assume that it was a country. Let's assume that Twitter was a country. So at the end of the day, it would always be for the interest of the company. It actually looks like a nation, really, because there are all sorts of people you find on Twitter. You find the good, the bad, the ugly, the weirdos, the. Techies, I'm a major uh, fan. I'm see. I'm great on Twitter. I love okay. Twitter, and I feel like Twitter is actually for a great mind. Really, I'm not saying, but if you're not okay, on Twitter, okay, she just took a swipe <laughs> with me. Okay, fine. I'll try and get into the whole, you know, Twitter bug as it is, so I can start tweeting and uh, start smiling. You know, as uh, <laughs> Mercy is smiling. All right. Speaking about Messi, another Messi this time around. Lionel Messi wins uh, the seventh. Ballon d'Or. Mercy, 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 mercy me. Not your mercy right now. Well, <laughs> so um, for this particular one, yes. uh, you know how uh, the argument is that he is the GOAT. And mm. This is for the seventh time. But this is actually very uh, controversial because uh, Robert Lewandowski. Uh, th there's also another argument that this is a robbery. He Robbery. doesn't deserve it. Yeah, that, that's a, another argument. So let me just quickly see if I can look at you know some of the facts and argument that some of the fans have actually put out. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that Messi, for this particular one, he doesn't deserve it. And that's because, you know, if you look at uh, Lewandowski, he scored 47 goals in 2020, 64 goals in 2022. And the big cry out there in the space is that, you know, um, Lionel Messi doesn't deserve this one, and he should have gone to uh, Lewandowski. But of course, um, so there's a lot of argument. Some people say because there's a skin, he was deprived of this in 2020. But I think that he's been very fantastic. If you look at the performance, Lionel Messi is a uh, wonderful player. Anytime. No, no, no. Apart from that, but you also you, you know you knew, because the majority. If you look at the argument of the majority, is the fact that he's been robbed. I mean, look at the arguments and all of that that's been put in 2020. He was deprived of this. A lot of people are saying as much as Messi is fantastic. But this should have actually gone to Robert uh, Lewandowski. And um, I don't know. I, I start in the middle, maybe play the devil's advocate. I don't belong here. I don't belong there. But the point is, I don't know. But if he should have gotten to him, he should have gotten to him. And I think that Lewandowski has actually been an amazing, fantastic. He's done well, if you look at this season, like we've mentioned. And I really do not know what reason, what is the yardstick. Because for every time you have all of these awards, you begin to ask yourself, what are the measures? What do we use you know, to get to this point? As much as I know that I love football and sports and sporting events, not that I'm very great into it, I can't really tell how you know they actually arrive at Messi being that. But some people will say Messi have won a lot of international. You 
want to mention all of that. Uh, several awards. I mean, you can see on the screen the kids always cheering and the fam is a great one. But uh, fingers are crossed. The argument still continues. We're hoping that, you know, Lewandowski would actually be given another opportunity. Maybe, you know, 2022, he definitely will win that one. But the truth is that I still believe uh, in... Uh Lionel Messi, he's just a fantastic player. Over the years, he has proven his worth and his sword. And, uh, and I'm sure the process uh, involved in, in selecting who gets to go home with that golden ball is actually very open and very transparent. So you, you also remember the fact that, yes. I mean, there's also another argument. Uh, I, I know full of the match, but not entirely. But you would see that... Um, Messi is no longer in Barcelona. Some people say no, that at the end, no, at the end of the PSG. day, due to the fact that he couldn't really win, his performance wasn't really, really awesome and great like that. He was brought over to the PSG mm -hmm. and, and what have you. But, you know, I, I just don't like to get into that argument before the fans of Messi begin to drag me to the left and to the right. <laughs> but I've always <laughs> had a thing against Messi. Not, not that. So... Because you know Messi plays for Argentina, right? Yes. And for everything that Nigeria would have to have an encounter with Argentina over the years, it breaks my heart. So every other time. The last time we actually won Argentina, I don't remember, 1998 or 1996. So you're holding on to that. Yeah, I'm still holding on to that. Because Messi would always make a mess of, you know, the super egos and it breaks my heart. I, I literally used to cry. But, you know, I think I've actually outgrown all of that right now. But, however, uh, we wish him the very best. A great one. We're not saying that Messi is not a fantastic, uh, you know, player. But if you look at the performance of uh, Lewandowski, Lewandowski okay. over the years, and then, you know, in the season, last year and right now, one would probably think that he should have actually gone with this award. Well, congratulations, Lionel Messi. You go, boy. Away from all of that, back here in Nigeria, Kaduna State is also trending, making headlines with some civil servants set to get another, or just one day off work uh, permanently. Uh, they will be working just four days uh, weekly and uh, that the extent there's been, there's been some of an extension you know for the monday to friday uh, from 8 uh, a.m to 5 p.m but then the, when i read the statement yesterday messi uh, the reason why uh, the government says it is giving that particular one day of work you know is so that um, workers can actually spend more time with their family spend uh, you know to to balance work to, to balance work life relationship amongst those people uh, among them the workers and of course that uh, they can also find time to you know do agriculture and all of that as uh, well that's really brilliant i'm i'm thinking that um, you know when we work you know yes. it, it goes beyond having work and all of mm. that a lot of people would argue for what is the working condition of workers mm. remember we have been having this conversation about the railway workers and all of the consent so yes mm. it could be that you have you know going back with a fat pig check, uh, it might be the case for you. And But what are the other pegs? So you have to talk about the holidays, the incentives, and mm. what have you. As brilliant as that sounds, but there are other arguments and only to... There would you know, always be arguments. ...following that. The likes <laughs> yeah. of... Uh, Reno Mockery. Reno Mockery. <laughs> Reno has actually raised, and he's saying that... Uh, I, I really do not know how that is, but he's saying, yes, it sounds very brilliant. I, I'm, I'm hoping... I, I wish I could actually read his, you know, tweet and comment uh, the way he actually put it. But in a paraphrase, in paraphrase, mm. he's saying that there might just be an undertone of the fact that Christians actually have a holiday. Uh, they don't work on Sundays. So this is also uh, just trying to put... Yeah, so it's, it's also trying to, you know, put uh, the counterparts, that's the Muslim... On the other hand, but for me, I would say that one of the things that has divided us as a country is the fact that we are always tilting towards, you know, religious differences and all of that. I'm thinking that it's high time that we put all of this behind and embrace ourselves as Nigerians, whether or not we're Christians, we're Muslim, it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that we're Nigerians. And that's why for me, it's usually difficult when you ask me, where are you from? Are you a Christian or not? The most important thing is I'm a Nigerian and you're a Nigerian and, you know, let's have a great heart. All right, and, and indeed, uh, even before this uh, new um, policy in Kaduna State, if you check around, um, I was just uh, discussing with um, a colleague just before we came on air, sort of having sort of a pre-chat. You know, if you check what uh, goes on around um, the north, because I served in Katsina specifically, Fridays, it's practically like um, 
a half day or no work at all. For instance, um, the workers, they resume in the morning before 10, before 12, they are all gone. So, 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 you, see, <laughs> so you see the fact that, gone. you know, so you see the, the consent of uh, Renu, uh, yeah. you know, that he's raised. He's saying that maybe this is just a way of saying, let's also declare a public holiday for Christians, just as, uh, you know, for Muslims, just as Christians don't have to work on Sundays. Well, it's not just for Christians. So the Sunday is for practically everyone. It's just that uh, most be, 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 Christians go to church on you, Sunday. Be, because Some Sunday, is, on yeah, that's the point now. Mm. Because Sunday is Sunday, and everyone knows that a lot of Christians across would always observe, and then they don't have to go to work. And people are already saying that you would also have now in his, uh, you know, in his remark and the the comments following that particular reaction is the fact that you will also have a lot of persons or other northern states who would also imbibe this, who would copy this particular pattern. But fingers are crossed. And these are just, um, what would you call it, conspiracy theory that would always be there. <laughs> People would always talk. And besides, uh, in my opinion, it, but, is, but it overall, is good. It overall, is good I mean, it's good to even rest. Even for those who are, if we forget about all the, the, the religious, uh, you know, uh, undertone. undertone or biases, as it were. You know, the fact is that, if I were uh, maybe a civil servant in uh, Kaduna State, and I'm not working, I'd use it ordinarily to make some more money somehow, <laughs> or spend quality as time much as with you family, see, the, the you know, is. going to agriculture like the government Rest is very important. I, I it feel is like a very, lot of people, very important. Be, because we are actually in this, uh, you know, rat race, mm. uh, the rat race that would never get to an end, we'll never win, you know, the rat race, mm. we, we can never get to that point where we say we're all right. Mm. But rest is very important. So very, first of all, it's thoughtful, important. apart from the fact that there are insinuations that this could also have mm. a political undertone. Yes. I mean, sorry, a religious, religious undertone. undertone. Yeah. But I mean, to consider the fact that, you know, workers need to spend time with family, friends, and also attend to other issues, is really thoughtful of the governor of Kaduna State, mm. aside every other concern. All right, uh, so that's uh, what's happening in Kaduna State. They get to work four days a week, uh, starting from December 1st, that is uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's December. Mercy. Yes, Christmas is here. Merry Count Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas <laughs> to you. Well, we need to move away right now. Uh, that's the much we can actually take at this point in time, talking about uh, top trending conversations, generating reactions from different spaces in the country. We will step on the brakes when we return. We'll definitely come through with the paper review. And of course, you're going to have uh, a guest join us to make sense of all of this. Please stick around. Good morning.